What's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Karen the Carrot and for those of you who don't know me, I normally make roller skating and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So if you guys like either of those things, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm probably gonna get all sweaty like doing this thing today. Hmm, what is it? We'll find out. I'm just kidding. But today, as you guys can see, there's this little box thing right here. So yeah, today's lifestyle video is going to be a video of me trying to install a portable mini washing machine that I got for my apartment. If you guys have watched my previous videos before, then you'd know that I just got an apartment last year and this is my first solo apartment, so everything is like super new to me. I posted a video on like my couch, which is like over here now. I posted a video on me installing that. It's a little challenge because you know I had to do it by myself, but it was so worth it. And now today's challenge is installing and figuring out how to use this little portable mini washing machine that I got. So I actually live in an upstairs unit and I usually go to my mom's house to do my laundry because she has a washing machine. And you know, I visit her very often, but someone from my family got COVID, so now I can't. And honestly, it's just a hassle. I wish I just had a built-in washer and dryer in my house, but unfortunately, I don't. Ran across multiple people on TikTok saying that they had little portable washing machines, and I had no idea that something like that even existed. So I was like, hold up, I gotta hop on this train. I spent like a really long time actually looking at options on Amazon and reading all the reviews. So I bought one, and I decided to get a Black & Decker one because I feel like that's like a pretty good brand for like appliances and stuff. I will put down a link below, so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. And this was about like $250 plus tax. So, you know, it wasn't cheap, but I'm really th hoping that it can relieve some stress because I love clothes, I love fashion, but I hate washing. And that's not a really good combination to have because then I have mountains of freaking clothes in my room. You know, like if there's something specific that I wanna wear, then I can't because it's dirty, so. Yeah, this is only a washing machine though. I am not gonna have a dryer, so I'm gonna have to hang dry my clothes. I'll show you guys a little setup that I made in my restroom to do that. So yeah, let's get started. Here's my lovely roommate, Lucia. Oh, you're so pretty, mama. This is my only roommate, you guys. So here we are in my bathroom. What's up? But I put a curtain rod in the middle of my bathroom to hang the clothes there and i get a lot of light in here and it honestly feels hot i have these little succulent plants here because i really needed to water them and they're supposed to dry out completely so here they are but yeah i'm hoping i can put it like i wish it was tiny enough to fit in this spot because that'd be perfect but i think i'm just gonna put it like right here let me roll up the washing machine so you guys can see okay here she is there's a little thing that i'm gonna have to read this i don't know what this is and yeah here it is this is the instruction book like i said this washing machine is from black and decker it's kind of thick like ah well let me give it a quick skim through to see what we're dealing with because I'm kind of nervous, to be honest, like, based on how thick this is. Safety, do not do this. Oh yeah, and you can't use hot water. Install your washer. If they want me to connect it to the sink, like, I don't know if I want to connect it to my sink, because what if I want to use my sink? I really have to use my brain. Big brain. Hey, I'm just going to take out everything that came in the washing machine and just, like, put it on the sink. And here's the cord. I don't know if I should connect it now or take it off the plastic. Here's the lid. Is this all there is? Okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even know how to do this. There's also like a hose over here. Like, I wonder if this is like the draining hose. Being a grown-up is hard. Okay, so I have to install the bottom cover first. Okay, look, I just flipped this hoe and look, this is everything that's down there. It's its organs. I put this thing on. I don't know how. Oh, do you like this? Are some screws I need to put? Should I be worried about? What is this? 
Oh. Maybe like a filter? Okay, it kind of stayed, so I'm just gonna. S Bruh! <laughs> this is just laughing in my face! I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, I think I got it. I was able to separate these two things. Like, this is supposed to stay on the sink, so like, it's easier to like, put on and off. But now I'm struggling to take my sink thing off to put that thing off. I think I almost have it. <gasps> yes! <gasps> I'm doing it! <gasps> I did it! Ew! What the hell? This one. I'm doing it! Yay, you guys! I'm a genius! I did it! So now, this little thing goes right here. We're getting somewhere. And then this goes connected to this. So, gotta make sure this one's on right. Ooh, yes, that snapped right into place. Yay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm excited. Ah! Now it says I have to connect the drain hose, which is this one. Ah! So this is a drain hose and it has this little like curved thing, which is just supposed to like let you make it hover. And then you hook it up back in here, wait, in there. Okay, so we got, oh, damn, never mind. Hold up. We got this thing connected to here. And we got our drain hose. And now I'm gonna plug it in, baby. Let's see if we get electrocuted. Ooh. Okay, nothing happened. Let's see if I'm just supposed to press start or not. Okay, I guess I am. <gasps> wow. 41 minutes, y'all see that? Okay, it's said to run a test cycle. Let me see what the programs are. Let's run a test cycle with like a pair of pants or something. Okay, step one, power your washer, did that. Step two, load your washer, add detergent. Okay, I heard that I'm supposed to add very little detergent, so yes, let's go. Okay, there's still a bit of room. Shorts, shirt, shorts, top, some cartones, leggings, and some socks. Okay, I think that should be fine. Wow, damn, did you all hear that? Okay, now I'm going to add a tiny bit of detergent. Okay. I guess I would put normal, load size, three large, two medium, one small. Um, I'd say this is a large. A large? Start? <gasps> Starting. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had to turn on my sink. <gasps> That's so cool. Look at that little waterfall. It's kind of spilling here a little bit, but like not too much, so that should be fine. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's like a little robot! There's no spilling here, so that's really cool. Oh my god, I'm really excited. I've never been this excited to wash my clothes before. Oh, I think I'm... I'm like, why is it getting foggy? Oh, it's yelling at me. I said, close that damn lid, girl. Okay, I had to make sure that it was a cold water. So, yeah. It's been a minute. Okay, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, um, I'm having a little issue because it just stopped. It was like rolling around. And then it just stopped. And we keep pressing wash. Because that's where it should be at. And I put pause and then like this comes up. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. Hello. Oh no. Okay, it's working again. So I turned it off again and on. And then I kind of just stuck my hand in there and like helped it move. Cause it kind of sounded like the motor wasn't working. But okay, we're back. Okay, so the washing machine was like stopping on me and I thought that maybe it was because I loaded it too much. So I kept like stopping it and putting my hand in there and moving the things around. But I just found out that it was because like I was reading the manual. I was like, what the hell is going on? It's because I had turned off the sink water and I guess the machine noticed that it wasn't full enough with water. So it was trying to like fill it up, but I had turned it off and now it's going again. So and it's like more filled to the top. So we're good thank god this is just like a little test run but it's okay i'm figuring it out as we go we're good right now i also changed it from like a regular wash to a rapid wash to you know see what was going on because i was getting a little bit frustrated but we're all good now look it's draining ew nasty but this is why we got it right am i right ladies plus most of these clothes is black i don't think it's just like moving it. i was out in my living room chilling for a bit and then i heard something weird so i'm glad that it came to check on us to check up on it it's twerking hey get it get it get it get it hey 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 oh. spinning again oh now she's spinning spinning okay Cool. Wow, fast. Okay, no more water's coming out. Damn, look at her go. I'm really impressed. Oh my God, this is really fast. It's not really like shaking and controllably so that's good this is why i got this one though because there was another one that had like two sections but you had to like take out the clothes and put in the spinner and i was like nah i don't want to do that just give me all in one spinning action so that's cool we have 12 minutes left this is on the rapid wash too okay weird it's making this little little twerk this little dancey dance oh but this wasn't spinning. Okay, I wonder, oh, okay, so now we got more water. And then this is gonna do the rinse, I believe. And it's important to keep that thing on. Okay. Woo! All right, we got one minute left. It's just pumping out the last of it. And I wonder if it's gonna make like a little song. A a a yo yo yo. That's like that's the best part. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it just turns off. All right, well, let's hang these clothes, yeah? And I'm gonna turn off the sink. Okay, so now my washing machine is done and I have all these hangers and I'm just gonna, oh, and I have these little like clothes pants. How cute, huh, vintage. I'm just gonna hang up this load uh, up there in that little curtain rod that I showed you guys. Wow, it actually like wrung them out pretty good. Like they feel pretty dry. This has made me like also like super nostalgic because you know like my family from Mexico, they're from like a little a little town, a little rancho. And you know like they used to um wash all their clothes like by hand and you know like they would have clothes pins, um clothes lines and like hang their clothes up and I don't know, I just think it's cute. But they actually used to wash their clothes like on a freaking like rock. Damn, okay, this is crazy. They're like really freaking run out. I love that. 
That means it shouldn't even take that long to dry. Someone told me to hang pan the thickest part at the end. That way they like, they dry faster? I don't know. Somebody told me. Dude, this is ultimate senora life. Okay, this one's a little bit more wet, but those other two? Don't come at me for having a Smith shirt, you guys. They have good songs. And it's sad that Morrissey is like that because I like that he's a vegetarian, but he doesn't care about his fans. Ooh, these leggings, they're pretty dry. Let me see, do they smell like ass? They don't smell like ass. Okay, that's pretty successful to me. But why is laundry like the most annoying chore out of all of them? Like, give me dishes, give me a toilet to scrub, but laundry? Look at these socks though. These are my pigeon roller skate shop socks. They're really cute. My calzones. TMI, but like we all have calzones, you know? I think these are my period ones. Don't look at them. I'm gonna hide them. Yay! Oh, my little tiendita. All right, y'all. Here's all the clothes I washed. And one load. Pretty good. Ooh, look at the hangers. All right, everybody. Mission Portable Washer was a success. I did stress out. I did sweat. I did freak out. And I was also a little plumbing action over here, but I did it and I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy that I have this now. Laundry is such an annoying chore, like I was saying, but it needs to be done because you don't want to be walking around with smelly ass clothes. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you guys have a washer and dryer down in the comments. And let me know if this is something you would consider if you live in a small apartment or you live like three floors up like I do. Let me know. I want to talk to you guys in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Currently, I am posting lifestyle videos and roller skate videos every week. So two videos a week. And hopefully I can incorporate makeup in there. But for now, that's what I'm doing. And I really like it because you know what? I'm 26, I have my own apartment now, and yeah, I love talking about things that make my life easier, things that make my apartment prettier, just lifestyle things, so I'm really enjoying making that type of content right now, and if you guys enjoy it, please let me know because your support means the world to me, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Karen the Carrot. and if you guys would like to buy me a coffee for my next apartment purchase then i have a ko-fi link down below and yeah hope you guys have a great day bye love you